Are Dyson's bladeless fans really worth all the hype? To answer that question, we're going to be examining this Dyson Cool AM07 air multiplier tower fan in white and silver. But first guys, we need to address the elephant in the room. This fan is not bladeless at all. And I honestly think Dyson may have copped quite a bit of backlash for this, which is why you don't really see the term bladeless thrown around in their advertising so much anymore. So guys, yes, there is definitely a fan blade in here and it spins around in the base, sucking air in through the intakes, which it then pushes up and evenly disperses it through the ring at the top of the fan. So guys, let's get into a demonstration. But just before we do, make sure you've liked the video and subscribed so you don't miss our next review. So let's fire up the fan with the power button and I'm going to turn off this light so you can see that there's a little LED at the front to indicate the power level that we're on. Now this is on level 3 at the moment but it can go all the way up to 10. So let's crank it up using the up arrow of these two circles. We are now at the max power, level 10. As you can see, I can't go any higher than that. Now guys, one of the key selling points of these bladeless fans is that they supposedly have a lower noise level than a standard bladed fan. Now I will say that is true. However, as you can hear, that doesn't mean it is completely silent by any means. So let's crank this down to a more manageable level and we're gonna have a look at the next function. So up top right here, we have the oscillation function. So I'm gonna press that. And as you'll see, the fan is now oscillating from right to left and it will continue in this fashion until I decide to press the oscillate button again. So let's have a look at the timer function, which is the clock icon here. So if we start cranking this up, you'll see 15. Let's keep going, 30, 45, an hour. So this is just an indication of how long the fan is going to stay on before it automatically shuts down. The timer maxes out at nine hours, as you can see. And if you'd like to turn the timer off and just leave it running indefinitely, you just crank it all the way down below 15 minutes. So guys, that's really all there is to it with the remote functionality, very intuitive and very simple. And you always have the physical power button as a backup. Now guys, this fan actually has one secret hidden feature that no other type of fan in the world can do. But first, we're gonna quickly talk maintenance. For the top half here, all you need is a wet cloth to get rid of any dust. And down at the bottom here, you're just going to use a vacuum to go around the intakes. And it is that simple to keep this thing clean. Now, on to the hidden feature. That's right, guys. You heard that correctly. This is the one fan in the whole world that lets you do this. So guys, just before I make a judgment for you on whether these Dyson bladeless fans are worth the hype, I want to let you know that if you do decide you're interested in one, there is a link for them in the description below. So the reality is, it ain't bladeless. That's a fact, but that doesn't mean it's still not a good fan. For my personal needs, I love having this thing in the summer. It has a very smooth airflow, and I really enjoy the reduced noise compared to typical bladed fans. But let's face the reality, guys. There's one reason in particular why everyone's buying this fan, and that's because it looks so darn cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.